Hello, White Belts. It is Tuesday, August 18th. Hope you guys are having a good start of your week. Um, as always, guys, make sure you do your warm-ups before we get started. So go to our app, click on Curriculum, click on Lima Online, do your warm-ups, pause the video, come back when you guys are done. <coughs> no coughing. Okay, welcome back, everybody. All right, let's get right into our defense stance. Set, Kia. Yeah. All right, so we're going to warm up a little bit with white belt fighting combination number one. You're going to do 20 on your left, 20 on your right. Looks like this. Front punch, back punch combination. Front punch, back punch combination. Making sure that, that hand comes back to your cheek and our thumbs are wrapped tight. Okay, front punch, back punch combination. Ready, go. Kia. Kia. Go. Kia. Kia. Go. Kia. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. I want you to do 20 on this side and we're going to do 20 on this side. Ready? Front punch, back punch, kia. Front punch, back punch, kia. Ready? Go. Kia. Oh. Go. Kia. kia. Back to your cheek. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. 20 on your left, 20 on your right. Pause the video, come back when you're done. All right, welcome back. So now we're going to do this with a partner, a training partner. She's going to put their hands up like this. Okay, in your defensive stance up by Bailey. Okay, so he's going to do a front punch, back punch. He's, cr he's crossing. So his left is going to my left, which is across the body. Then his right goes to the other side where he brings his hand back to his cheek. We're staring at the chest in the middle. Ready? Go. Kia. Please bring the hands back to the cheek. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. We're going to do 20 on this side, and he's going to do his other stance. Ready? Go. Kia. Go. Kia. I want you guys to focus so much on getting your hand back to your cheek that your hand's almost in your ear. Go. Kia. Go. Here. Go. Here. Go. Here. Okay? So we're going to do 20 on your left, 20 on your right, on the partner. Okay? Pause the video. Come back when you guys are done. All right. Welcome back. Now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do a double jab cross. Whoa. That sounds like something totally new. I got a little trick for you. It's not new at all. A jab is the same thing as a front punch. Okay? This is a jab. This is a front punch. This is a double front punch. This is a double jab. Same thing. A cross is the other name for, you guessed it, a back punch. So we're gonna do a double jab and a cross. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Focus on my belly. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. He's doing 20 on his left, and switch your stance. We're gonna do 20 on his right. Double jab, cross. Go. Kia. You're too close, please, somebody. You're not extended. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Here. Okay, double jab cross, 20 on your left, 20 on your right, pause the video, come back when you guys are done. All right, welcome back. All right, so now that you've done all your punching, let's do a little bit of kicking here, okay? We're going to do our front leg front kicks. We're going to do it on a hard target today, on a hard target. So we can use either a kicking shield or we can use a wave master. We're going to do our front leg front kicks. Okay, when we do our front kicks, we're going to hit with the ball of the foot. Okay, so the knee comes up, out, back, lands right where it starts. Up, out, back, lands right where it starts. Ready, go. Kia, go. Kia, go. Kia, go. Kia, go. Kia. Switch your stance. Ready, knee comes up, out, back, lands where it starts. Up, out, back. Ready, go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. All right, so now we're going to do it on our target here. Defensive stance. Defensive stance. Closer. Front leg, front kicks. Ready? Go. Kia. Now, notice that my belly retracts his kick right after he hits it. Lands where he starts. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Go. Kia. Good. He's going to do 20 on his left. Switch your stance. 20 on the right. Go. Here. Go. Here. Go. Here. Go. Here. Go. Here. All right, so after he's done those 20, guys, remember when I gave you these counts <clears throat> of doing 20 reps? That's the minimum I want you to do. If you're feeling like you want to burn more energy, you want to feel like you want to get more practicing, by all means, get more practicing. If you have a wave master and you don't need to use a partner or you have some sort of kicking bag, you're in great shape then, okay? Just make sure we're landing in that good stance in front. We want to practice that Kia every time. Kia! 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 Good, just like that. All right, pause the video, come back when you guys are done. All right, welcome back, guys. 
So one of the greatest assets in, in my children, in the kids I coach in sports, in the students I teach at the school, one of the greatest attributes a person can possess is coachability. To be coachable means you're open to learning, you're open to improvement, you're open to growth. Okay, the definition of insanity is to do the th same thing over and over again and expect a different result. <coughs> so, <coughs> when you're coachable, you're open to doing something different. For example, in the classroom, this happens almost on a daily basis. I'll walk by Johnny. Now, Johnny is you. Johnny's all of you, okay? I'll walk by Johnny. I'll say, okay, Johnny, get your hands up. What's oh, Sensei? Now, Johnny, put your hands on your cheeks. What's oh, Sensei? Johnny, I need you to physically pick your hands up and put them on your cheeks. Oh, what's oh, oh, Sensei? And then I walk away and they're like, what's oh, Sensei? Okay, and the hands are right back here. That's not being coachable. The hands stayed here. Being coachable means you heard that, you process it, and you consciously make the change of here. Now, you may have to be reminded a few times as your hands start to drift down, but I need to see you consciously make that change. Or during a, a, a one-two combination, a lot of you guys will throw that front punch and not even realize you're dropping that back punch. And I'll say to a student, hey, Bailey, keep your front hand up when you do that back punch. Listen, say, Bailey, get your hand up. You're dropping it when you do that front punch. No, I'm not. Okay, and, and we're being we're not being coachable. Being coachable means you're open to learning, open to improving, open to growth. Okay? It this works the same way in sports. Your coach might be telling you something in sports. Hey, listen, I need you to go home, I need you to work on your footwork here, or I need you to do this, or I need you to shoot in the backyard a hundred times this weekend, and you go, okay, but you don't do it. Or when you're working at home with mom and dad, and mom and dad say, listen, guys, before you your grades are slipping before you freaking get on your phones, before you before you get on your devices, before you Snapchat your girlfriends, before you whatever, I need you to do your homework right away. Okay, mom, okay, dad, and the next day it's the same thing. Okay? Well, what about us adult students? Okay, and you have a job and, and you do a project and your boss comes in and says, Hey, thanks for getting that done, but next time I need you to do this. Oh, I got it. But the next project rolls around, you do the exact same thing. That's not being coachable. To be coachable means you make the changes your boss or your mentor are asking you to do. You try to improve. You're open to learning. You're open to growth. I truly believe in my own children, in the kids that I coach, in the students I teach at martial arts, one of their greatest attributes is when they are coachable. Be coachable. All right, guys, today we're going to work on white belt self-defense number four real quick. Is that by Bailey? Yes, <laughs> sir. All right. So I grab on the Senpai Bailey here, I'm a big bully, I'm right in his chest just like this. Okay, got gotcha, your kid? No way, dude. Senpai Bailey's hands go up like he's surrendering. The first thing he's gonna do is smash me right on the ears. Boom. That's gonna make me let go. He kicks right between the legs, and he's gonna do a palm strike right to the yeah. face. Hands open, hit with the heel of the palm right into your opponent's nose. Ready? Got gotcha, your kid? No way, dude. He claps, he kicks, and he palm strikes. Yeah. Good. Okay, got gotcha, your kid. Now, when you're training with a partner, you don't really want to clap them in the ears. They're not going to want to be your partner for long. So we're going to clap over the head. Got your kid? No way, dude. He claps, kicks, palm straight. Yeah. Got your kid? No way, dude. Claps, kicks, palm straight. Yeah. yeah, just like that. So let's try it together in the air. Ready? Got your kid? What do we say? No way, dude. Hands go up. Clap him. Kick him. Palm straight. Yeah. Key eye. Got your kid? What do we say? No way, dude. Clap him. Kick him. Palm straight. Key yeah. eye. Got your kid? No way, dude. Clap him. Kick in, palm strike, kia. Yeah. All right, let's get at least 20 reps in with a partner. Hope you guys enjoyed today's classes. Remember to always be coachable. You'll grow from it. You'll improve. You'll get better. Thanks for training hard today. Thanks for being Lima Strong. We'll see you online, and we'll see you on the mat. Oos.